Okay, here we go then, guys. This is the moment of truth. Alright, I've got it. No, my wingsuit. I haven't got my wingsuit on. No. Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Stevie and welcome back to more our uh, aberration here on the Iron Mind server. So guys, last episode was an eventful one. We've done a live stream and I really, really enjoyed it. At the beginning of the live stream, we tried to uh, make Smurf here with this one over here, this other Ravager, to try and get a fully mutated blue Ravager. So on Smurf, I have got the blue body, blue belly, but he's got a black spine. On this one, we've got everything apart from the belly. So we've got blue spine, blue body, white belly. Let me just get rid of that so you guys can see. So we tried to uh, start a live stream to breed them over, to cross the belly over to the new Ravager. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. Uh, I have tried again this morning. So we have got a five hour cooldown. There's the result. Didn't really work out, did it? <laughs> it didn't really work out at all. Uh, so that was part of the live stream. We started, a, we made a really good start on our new base, which is over in the blue area. Uh, I know some of you guys don't like recaps and all that kind of stuff, but there was quite a lot to cover. So I just want to get all this out of the way before we begin today's adventures. Um, we started the base. We built the sort of frontal skeletal frame of our base. Um, I haven't touched it since last night, so we can go over and have a quick look a little bit later because I need to go and get my radiation suit and everything for today. We also tamed up this awesome Megalosaurus. It was a 174. We did call it Pain in the Butt. It was a perfect tame. Tamed out at two, uh, level 260. Um, unfortunately, this girly killed us in action and it killed our little Shinehorn Dasher, which I was absolutely gutted about. But I had to call Billy Bob in. Uh, Billy Bob come and help me out. He brought his crab down so we, would, we were able to batter the shit out of everything that was in the way. And we managed to get this girly trapped, tamed her up, and the rest is history. These are the stats on the girly right now. So we got, I put no levels into it as you can see, but we've got 8,265 health. We've got 1,350 stamina, 534 weight, and 343% melee damage. So she's gonna be amazing. Um, she's a lot better than a Spino, a lot more faster, a lot more agile. Um, I believe maybe even a bit more powerful than a Spino, but these guys are absolutely awesome. And obviously, because they are in the depths of the caves, they always stay awake. There's no option to sleep. You can't put the Megalosaurus to sleep at all. So that's really, really good. Really, really good. Uh, so yeah, we lost Dasher. So this morning, I've just uh, got a couple from the community base, bred them up. But we've got this awesome black and purple one. Uh, she looks really, really nice with blue horns, and she's called Minnie. Uh, she's almost matured. Got, oh, there we go. 100% maturation. And she should be 100% imprinted. She is. Uh, so, as you can see from the chat, we're talking about rock drakes here. So, today, guys, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. I want to go and get myself a rock drake egg. I don't necessarily want to hatch it today. But I thought it would make a good adventure. We're going to join up with James a little bit later on. He's going to be... Um, raising some rock drakes at the moment because he has lost a couple unfortunately um, so that is something to look forward to a little bit later on but first of all guys in the live stream we found this it's a Mastercraft long neck rifle blueprint uh, so we got weapon damage is 180 weapon durability is 378 uh, you need uh, 3400 hide you need oh, no, no sorry you need 334 hide you need 1,270 metal ingots and 267 wood to be able to make it. So I want to go over to Yamandan's base over by the surface, which is that way. He's got an Anki. He's got a massive uh, community forge. So I'm going to go over there, grind up all the metal, and then hopefully we're able to make two of these long necks. I think that would be absolutely awesome. So I'm going to get some stuff ready. Going to head over to Umandan's base. We're going to go and do a bit of metal farming first. And then when James is ready, what we're going to do is head down to the radiation zone and hopefully, hopefully come back with a very, very nice rock drake egg. I can't wait, guys. And I really hope you do go on to enjoy it as well. So give me a few more seconds, guys. 
and we'll be right back. Okay then guys, so we are at Umandan's base right now and I thought I'd bring the Megalosaurus out just to test it out a little bit and to get it a few more levels and oh my god, it is such an amazing mount. Obviously with the right click you can pick dinos up and then you can just savage them in your jaws without any worry at all. Very, very nice indeed. So this is Umandan's base. Um, it is on the edge of an entrance to the surface. Uh, so this is the location on the map for anybody who wants to come. It's about uh, 2861 or something like that. So this is an entrance to the surface. Very, very nice indeed. That's where you need to come to if you want to get to this location. So I need to turn my shine horn. Oh, I've just turned him off. Let's turn him on again. Right, there we go. So obviously to get up, we are going to need to use our grapple hook. So obviously I've got my grapple hook on my uh, armor here and you do need gasoline in order to uh, use this. So this would be like a motorized, um, let me just take it off my leggings so you guys can see. It's um, a zipline motor attachment skin. Uh, so you put that onto your trousers and then you put them back on and uh, yeah, so... All you've got to do is press E if you're on PC. I'm not too sure what button it would be if you're on console. So you press E, that will attach you to it. So obviously with the gasoline, as you can see in the bottom right corner, it says zip gas 65%. So then we can just go ahead and shimmy our way up to here. So hopefully we can uh, get up. No, we can't. We're going to fall. <laughs> All right, so we might have to use our grapple hooks for this little bit then. Uh, so let's go ahead and climb up. So it looks like it's not high enough for a person. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're up. We're up. Okay, so Yamandan has got a community forge up here, which is really, really nice. So we're able to put some uh, metal in here. We have got uh, 26 gasoline, so obviously we're not going to be using any of your Mandans. We do need 5,080 raw metal for the Mastercraft long necks. Um, I'm going to gamma up just a tiny bit. going to go gamma 3 so we can see in there. All the metal is in through there. We're not going to be in any trouble at all. So it should be fine. Uh, we're going to borrow your Mandan's um, Anki. it has got uh, 1,500 weight. So we're going to borrow him. And we're going to take him in to get a bunch of metal. So obviously at the moment we're hot. Um, we're not going to go up to the surface today, no way, nowhere near ready for that. It is going to get very, very bright in here in a couple of seconds, uh, so do bear with it guys. I'll try and gamma down a little bit. Um, hopefully we should be alright in here. I uh, don't think there's any Reaper Queens or Kings or anything that spawn in this section. But the metal should be right around this corner. As you can see it's getting very, very bright as we head over. There is zip lines up to the surface, but at the moment it would be on fire. <laughs> and we would just burn to a crisp. So we're not uh, crisp. So we're not going to go up there. So it is very very bright. So let's see if I can gamma down again. Might be a little bit better, but there should be a ton of metal nodes around here. I'm not too sure if these little fellas here are metal nodes. We'll just go ahead and break one just to uh have a cheeky little look. Yeah, there we go. 200 69 metal so 234 metal nice so these are little metal nodes so we're just going to go ahead and get a bunch of this stuff so is this a big one as well nice all right awesome so i believe you can get like stuff from the bones as well that are lying on the floor is that going to break there we go we got it and then that one Anyone know who Blood and Thunder is? Ah, oh, that's just a chat. Right, that one obviously we can't harvest. <laughs> uh, so this one we can. Nice. And then we'll do another one. There we go. Right, so let's get rid of the stone. Because we're not going to need that. So we need 5,080. So we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 2,000, 2,495. Five. So we are going to need a little bit more metal. Uh, we might have to run out 
and come back. Let's just grind up a little bit more. I think that'll do. What I'm going to do again, guys, is I'm going to grind up the rest of this metal that's in here. I'm going to head back very, very quickly, start smelting it up, and then hopefully we will have enough metal to craft up these two Mastercraft long neck rifles that I really, really want. That's going to help us out. I might get a bit of extra metal as well because there is an ascendant... Uh, crossbow blueprint at the community base as well, which I think is about 450 metal each one So I might get a little bit extra just for that. Hopefully our Megalosaurus can carry the extra weight I think we're only going to need about 800 metal 900 metal to carry back with us. So hopefully it won't be too bad But I'm gonna grind up the rest of this metal guys I'm gonna get it all smelting and then once we've got it all done I'll be back, guys, to craft up these long necks. Okay, then, guys. So it's been about half an hour. I've been smelting up all of the raw metal. I've used UR's personal one and the CC one out there just to make it a little bit quicker. Uh, I've put a storage chest down in your Mandan space, which I will get rid of. But I should have everything in here now to make two long neck rifles. Uh, so obviously we've got a shit ton of metal in here. So it doesn't take a lot of fi uh, hide and it definitely doesn't take a lot of wood. Uh, it's just the metal. So I'm going to use Yamandan Smithy. Now obviously he's got a lot of stuff in here already. So we might have to put some stuff in this box um, oh, just so I can make it. So let's get it out and let's, uh, let's chuck it in the Smithy. I don't think my Megalosaurus is going to have enough weight to carry any um, metal back. So we might have to leave it here. So there's the long neck rifle. So we're going to need... The hide's already in there. So we can all, we can replenish the hide. Not a problem. Um, so let's see if we can pull enough to make one. We can. So let's go ahead and make the first one. And then what we'll do is we'll uh, get the mats back to make a second one. And that should be more than enough. And we can put everything back in your in, in your Mandan's uh, smithy. So let's pull enough for another one, which we do. So there we go. We've got one. Nice. And then we'll give that one to your Mandan so he can uh, grind it up or whatever he wants to do with it. And then there's the second one. Nice. So we don't have any trank darts yet, but that's something that we can get into definitely so let me grab the blueprint back out and then what I'm going to do is get everything out of here and put it into your Mandan's uh, uh, smithy uh, just so we've paid him back for what we've used so it probably would have been easier just to do that in the first place but hey it is what it is so let's um, chuck all this in there I wonder if he's got anywhere else. He's got enough for seven more slots. So let's get a little bit more out. Transfer it over. Probably would have been easier just to uh, do this, wouldn't it? Uh, so let's go metal ingots. Um, and then obviously ABC. Let's try and get as many as we can. 910. So your Mandan, you've got a little bit of metal left in your thing. That's from what I've done. So with the crossbows, I think I'm going to need about... 400 maybe 800 metal so let me grab these two out as well uh, we're not going to be able to put them in there I don't think unless he's got something we can just chuck down maybe um, I don't think I don't really want to get rid of too much because it's not my stuff so let's put the metal back in here for now so ABC, let's uh, get a little bit, let's get enough so we got the thingamabobs, the crossbows. Uh, I think I'm only going to need one crossbow. So let's go Metalinger. So we got Fabricator, so, uh, Smithy, sorry. So let's, let's just grab out six, uh, 700, because that's what we had, would have had left over. So if we go out to the CC... Uh, thingy my bobby forge here there's a little safe and it's got all of our little folders in so as you can see we've got a little folder there so let's just chuck that in there just so we're able to pull our metal and then we can keep that in there we can come back at a later date and then we can go ahead and make up these crossbows so there we go ABC chuck all the metal in there 
So, and then let's put it into our folder. So we should have it all in there. Nice. Okay, so let's turn this off. I think there should be some more metal in there. No, there's no more metal in there, which is fine. Uh, I think my little shine horn's gone out. Better light them up before Nameless start spawning in. We don't want to be uh, running into them little fellas. Um, and then let's turn this one off as well, I think. Yeah, that's done as well. So let's turn that off just to preserve the uh, gasoline. So everything should be out of here now. So I can go ahead and get rid of this. All right, there we go. So we've got our metal. We've got our long neck rifles, which is pretty cool. We're going to go back to the CC base. And uh, what I'm going to do then is see if James is ready. And I'm going to jump into voice chat with James. And we're going to hopefully go down to the Rock Drake area and uh, have a look at getting ourselves a Rock Drake egg. Let's just go check this blue drop very, very quickly. You never know. You never know. Uh, this could be something good. Could be something good. Probably not. Probably a fish basket blueprint. Ah, oh, little glow sticks and a forge. Well, I don't need the forge, so because we've already learned it. Right, I'm going to head back to the CC base. I'm going to drop off the blueprint. And oh, it's very, very dark. Very, very dark. There we go. I'm going to drop off the blueprint and get my ravagers ready. I'm going to head over to our new base area. And like I said, I'm going to jump into a call with James. Well, not a call, like a you know, voice chat on Discord. And then, like I said, hopefully go down to the Rock Drake area and hopefully find ourselves a decent level Rock Drake egg. So I'm really, really excited for that, guys, and I hope you are too. So, like I said, I'm going to head back to the base. Give me a few more seconds, and we will be back. Okay then, guys. So we are down by our new base location. This is our little base that we made on the live stream. I'm joined by James, so I'm going to bring him into voice chat in a couple of seconds. Uh, he's got his awesome Rock Drake, Bourbon on the Rocks, level 214. He looks absolutely awesome. I really cannot wait to get my hands on one of these. I'm going to leave the doggy here. We should have everything we need. We've got our hazmat suit. We've got food. We've got water. We've got a little bit of um, like ammo, just in case. Uh, but I'm going to bring James in. The idea is we're going to go down to James's little base, which is just down that way somewhere. Just on the edge of the radiation zone and we're going to go down on spinos and crabs we're going to clear out the area and we're going to hopefully walk away with a decent level rock drake egg but like i said i'm not going to hatch it in today's video we're going to just go on the adventure and try and get one so i'm going to bring james in and hopefully he will be able to uh hear us so let's go to discord and just uh bring him in um we just press B, I think, because something's got going on with Discord, so we've got to speak in game. So, James, can you hear me? Yep, yeah, I can hear you. How's it going, buddy? Good, thank you. Good, good. So, I've just explained that we're going to go head down to your little base area, and we're going to go and take spinos and crabs and all that kind of good stuff down to yep. your thing. So, should I put my radiation suit on now? Put it on now okay. just in case. I'm going to put my flak on the dog up here just so that's nice and safe. I've got some sleeping bags as well just in case. Uh, trying to think what else I don't need. My sword, I don't need that. All right, that should should be it. All right, so what am I doing? Am I jumping on your Drake? Yep, jump on here and we'll see if we can get down. Cool. So I hope you guys can hear James all right. Uh, he is coming through on the Elgato, so hopefully you guys can hear him all right. So this is going to be quite an adventure. I really hope that we get a decent level egg today. I'm not going to hatch it today. I ain't going to have time, but it's definitely something we could look at next episode, definitely. So, James, thank you very much for helping me out with today. Really do appreciate it. The camera w angle on this is so weird. Oh my god. <laughs> right, okay, so it looks like we're at James's little base now. Cool. Are we upside down? Oh my god. <laughs> the camera angle on this is so weird. 
I think I need to turn on my little shine horn. Is he on? Okay. I don't think our shine horn's on. Oh, I've just turned him off. He was on. He was on. Okay, so this is James's uh, little radiation base place. Looks pretty cool. So we've got one of the spinos. So I think, am I going to take the spino? Uh, we'll take the other spino. Okay. Just move these guys out of the way. I think James is going to take a crab. Is it a 329 spino? I'll take this crabby. We'll see how the crab goes. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What is happening? Oh, it's a seeker. It's a seeker. Oh, no, I better turn my light off. Damn. <laughs> spino. Oh, he was going mental. All right, what gamma are we on? Let's turn up to gamma four so we can see a bit at least. Oh, we got feather lights down here. I might try and tame a feather light. Let's leave it down here. Alright, so everything just went absolutely batshit crazy. What level is this little feather like? This is pretty cool. What level are you? I can't even see. Come back. Come back. He's a level 96. He's pretty cool. Put food in tame slot to feed. I wonder if we can try and tame it very, very quickly. Does it take these little brown mushrooms? No, it doesn't. Damn. <laughs> Alright, I don't have the mushrooms to tame it, so I'm not going to worry about a feather light right now. Uh, we're here for the rock drakes. So, James, I am ready whenever you are, mate. Okay, ready when you are. I went the wrong way, didn't I? Oop. Okay then, guys. So it looks like we are ready to rock and roll. So James is going to lead the way because I can't remember which way it was. I have been. James did take me down here before. James did get a pretty sweet egg. Uh, not too sure. Have you hatched the egg yet, James? Uh, yeah, I did hatch the twenty-two twenty-two. Nice two twenty-two. That's really good stats. That sounds pretty good to me. Hopefully we can find something very, very similar. That would be lovely. So it's quite a windy path going all the way down to the bottom. Uh, so we'll let James lead the way. We've turned our little light off for now because obviously the Seekers will be attracted to that. Yeah, the big test for me here is to see if we've got um, radiation on the crab. It's an aberrant creature, isn't it? So surely it should... I don't think it is protected, you know. I think you will lose damage, but only like one per second or something. I know the Megalosaurus is uh, radiation proof. But I do apologise if there's a load of sort of background noise. Something's going on with Discord and chat. We can't get it to work properly I don't know what the hell is going on so we're using in-game chat at the moment very very weird but this place is absolutely amazing so obviously now you can see in the bottom right corner we are radiated so we need to be careful of our suit uh, it was a full full brand new set so we should be all right we should be all right and this spino is a bit of a beast so we should be able to take out quite a lot of the rock drakes while we're there but what I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna cut this little one until we come to a bit of action and then uh, I'll bring you guys back in because I know James has put a couple of foundations down here to sort of stop spawns uh, from spawning in just to make life a little bit easier for everyone uh, but when we find something that we can attack you know when we clear out all the drakes I will bring you guys right back in <laughs> okay then guys, so we're coming up to where the rock drake eggs are. We've got a few rock drakes over here that we're going to go and take on. Uh, we need to clear out this area quite a lot. So we've got two, three. There's one in the background. So hopefully this won't take too long. So it's like 102, 60. Right, so we've got a couple more just ahead. And we've got some nameless spawning in as well. Because James hasn't got a light. <laughs> 
James forgot his little light pet. So, uh, this one's quite a tanky one. 102. All right, cool. So James has got to stay near me because, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I've got a light source. Okay, so and my little goat keeps bleating around. So there's quite a few drakes up here. We're doing all right for health. Health is fine. So hopefully we can uh, kill all these guys off with no problem, and then that would reduce the amount of rock drakes that are going to spawn us. When we get oh that was a 180 so hopefully that will reduce the amount of guys that come in when we finally take an egg so I can't remember which way it is is it left or right yep we're gonna hit up here up here all right so there's a few more we'll take out these two drakes rock drakes first Going down, there we go, he's gone. One over here. Hopefully my little shine horn will be enough to uh, light the way. So these aren't too powerful really, like the rock drakes. They're quite easy to kill. With a decent Spino, or even a decent Megalosaurus, you should. Be all right. Let's just check the health of this guy. We've lost only about 3k health, so we'll just heal up very, very quickly. Okay, then, guys. So we're heading into the Rock Drake section now. You can see the nests up there, where them yellow sort of pods are. That's the Rock Drake nest. So we're just going to continue to clear the way, just so it's a little bit easier to go and get an egg. So we've got a 120. We just Killed. that's good that's good so we'll have a look around see if there's any more rock drakes about but this little area is where James has been getting his eggs from uh, so at the moment I can't see any eggs there is a nest so there might be we've got nameless I'll get this rock drake there's nameless behind you James So this one is a level uh, 102. So we just get rid of these nameless. Right, that should be all right. So what I might do, James, is give you my light pet, unless you can climb up. Okay, knowing here. Right, okay, there's a nest up just over this side. And there is a nick. Right, there is. What level is the egg? Level 30, that's not good. Level 30, oh no. Is there anywhere else? I mean, Get up there. could we go down a little bit further? Oh. Was there an egg up there? Yeah, there should be one. Do you want me to jump up and have a look? Is that it? No, it's nice one above. 30. One above you, I think. Let's jump over here. So James is just looking around one for the more. eggs. Might be at the top. I guess we're gonna have to climb. What was that that you just aggro? So there's a level thirty in the first spot, which is just up here. Hold on, we've got music. What have we aggroed? And uh, I'm gonna try. Do right, you want me to try and climb up? Do you want my little light pet and I'll climb up? Because uh, you're going to be down yeah, here with no light pet. I'm just going to try and get up here to keep myself from getting um, main... Uh, I'm not going to reach that top, I don't think. I'll get up there. I'll get up there. I'm going to jump into that hole. So that I can't get nameless if I can make it. Make it now. I'm climbing up. I'm climbing up. I'm going to the top. I'm going. And then I'll let you climb up to the top and see if you can get a good one. 
All right, and guys, so we're using our picks to try and get to the top. Of these picks are really hard to uh, sort of use. You need to get into the right sort of areas to to use them. So uh, I might need to. God, I'm not going to be able to get up there. I'm gonna have to try and swing across. All right, I'm up. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm up to okay, the top. It's a 102. 102? That'll do me. Oh, I already fell. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab it, and then you're going to jump down to the spino. Okay, right. And so we're going to run. Got a 102. <laughs> What's the spool time on it? Seven hours. Uh, seven days. Right, where's the spino? Because oh, the spino's down there. I'm probably going to die. Um... I could probably use my wingsuit to drop down there. Okay, here we go then, guys. This is the moment of truth. All right, I've got it. No, my wingsuit. I haven't got my wingsuit on. No, no, no. Oh, oh I landed, but I've got broken bones. I've got broken bones. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my days. I have broken my bones. How did I not die? We've got a massive fight on our hands now. Oh my god, they're all coming. They're all coming. Six of them. Oh my god. Oh my god, I need to heal up. Damn, man. That was scary. I don't have my wingsuit on my <laughs> um, outfit. Oh, man. How did I not die? I do I not hit know. Them one from behind you. Right, so we're just going to get rid of all these and then we're going to head right out of here. Wow. That was uh, that was insane. Oh, I'm nearly dead. Wow. <laughs> Broken legs and everything. Damn. That was high up, man. But we've got a 102 Rock Drake egg. That is not too bad. That's a start. That's a start. And once we get our Rock Drake hatched, uh, imprinted, boosted, all that kind of good stuff, we can then bring it back down here a bit easier and uh, get a couple more eggs. So we'll just kill off the rest of these guys while we're here. My Spino is down three quarters health. Wait, well, he's got three quarter health left. Oh, 186. Oh, Why can't how much health? You what? Sorry. Sorry. How much health did you say you had? I've got. I've got just over half now. Twelve thousand. Okay, that should be okay. I'm down to like very little. So. Alright. Spino's got a level, so I'm going to put a level into melee. I'm just going to feed up a little bit, because I'm down to like 4k health. Ah, oh, oh, bloody minus. Yeah. Huh. There we go. Okay. Can you just boost up my health a bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright guys, so we're just going to heal up our dinos very, very quickly and then we are going to make our way back up to James's base and James is going to give us a lift on his rock drake out of here. So we should, should be alright to go. We'll just double check the egg. Yeah, level 102. So that is really cool. We can go and put that in the fridge. Um, we might leave it at James's base because we don't have a fridge yet. Uh, but we know we definitely got a 102. So that is absolutely awesome. Okay then guys, so we're back at James's little outpost. We've made it back safe and sound with our egg. Can't believe it, still can't believe it. <laughs> uh, let's just make sure we've got it on our person. We do, and we've still got seven days, nine hours before it spoils, so that's pretty cool. So James is gonna give me a lift back up to the Ravager, and then what I'm gonna do is head over to James's base up on the Mushroom Hill, and go put it in his fridge so he can look after it for us. Because like I said, we live in the peasant's dream. We do not have a fridge yet. So James is gonna be good enough to look after it for us. So we're gonna stay on the back of this rock drake. The camera angles are just horrible. Unfortunately, you can't go into K mode when you're riding on the back of a drake. So you just gotta put up with these hideous camera angles while we head up to our tiny little base area so nearly there but yeah that was that was cool i mean 
hopefully we can do it on our own at some point. Oh no, little little Listro just got annihilated. Uh, savage. Right, so there's James's other creatures. You've got a couple of spy a Spino and a couple of Megalosauruses. Nice. So Rock Drake is definitely the way to go. <laughs> I don't think a lot of people on the server have a Rock Drake as of yet, but we are definitely going to be hatching ours up. So I'm not too sure. It's right up there, I think. Huh. Oh, this is so weird. <laughs> So weird on the back. Trying to keep my mouse um, camera pointed in the right direction. All right, so it looks like we've got to go that way, right in that top corner, right above where you can see uh, James's name. That's where we're heading it over to. So we're getting there. We're getting there slowly but surely. That is cool. Oh, we've got an earthquake. Of course we've got an earthquake. Why, why wouldn't we have an earthquake? Wouldn't be aberration without an earthquake. Alright, so we're nearly there. Just up. Here we go. We're back. We are back. That is absolutely awesome. James, thank you ever so much, mate, for that. I really do appreciate you taking your time out to... Uh, Come down there with me and get a Drake egg. Really do appreciate it, buddy. No problem. It's a bit of fun. Yeah. I haven't tried it on the crab before, so that was something new. There you go. At least you know you can do it on a crab. Just remember to take your light pet next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I must have left it here. Uh, probably. You probably dropped it when you passed out. That's what I thought. It didn't follow you, did it? Oh, no, I don't think so. Uh, I might have passed out previously. Uh, maybe. Maybe. I passed out today down in the Reaper pen. <laughs> oh, that is probably where you rest in peace, little glow, peg, uh, glow pet. <laughs> yeah, well, I've, I've bred a level 96. Oh, wow. Which I've got twins, and I'm going to take that drake down and leave it there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sounds pretty good, mate. Sounds pretty good. Okay, right, James. Well, Thank you ever so much oh, again, mate. Really do appreciate it. No problem. You and just I'll, put that egg in the in the fridge if you like. Will do, mate. Will do. And there we go. He's gone. <laughs> I can't hear you now anyway. <laughs> so James can't hear me now because the Discord is being very, very stupid. So I've just disconnected from that all. Right then, guys. So we have got the egg absolutely awesome level 102 so i'm going to go ahead and put that in james's fridge um like i said he's going to look after it. we're going to hatch it up in a later video but guys i think that is going to be it for today's video i've had a lot of fun today we've finally got our mastercraft long neck rifles which i'm very very happy about the blueprint is in the community base chest so everybody else can use it absolutely awesome you've been awesome thanks again james for taking me down into the radiation zone to get our rock drake egg but guys if you did go on to enjoy today's video don't forget to drop a like down below it really does show support and if you're new to the channel and you haven't already do not forget to subscribe so guys until next time i really hope you do go on to enjoy the rest of your day and i'll be sure to catch you all on my next video